why we are interested in using Python. Sometimes you try to make a prediction using one free variable. For example, here you have the serial rating and the amount of fat is the free variable that helps you to make prediction about the rating. But please note that to get a better predictive model, it's always useful to use more than one independent explanatory or free variable. For example, a researcher wants to determine how employee salaries at a company are related to the length of em uh, employment, previous experience, and education. The researcher collected data, and as you can see, some of the data are shown here. You have one, two, three free variables here. Each free variable has an impact on the salary. For example, an employee with 10 years of employment in length, two years experience, and 16 years education has a different salary than other employees. You can easily use Python to compare these data. You can find the average of the salaries and visualize the data. Another example for you, a researcher wants to determine how House features like number of bedrooms, number of bathrooms, size, and so on are used to predict housing prices in San Francisco. We collect the data, we feed the data into Python, and it helps us to visualize these data, find the house median price, condo median price, and so on. Another example is stock market. A researcher wants to determine if stock features like historical stock prices, trading volumes, and other features are accurately predicting Apple stock price in a specific month. They collect the data, feed the data, and Python help us to visualize the behavior of the stock easily. Python is one of the most popular programming languages. It's free, it's open source, and can easily install it on Microsoft Windows, Mac OS, and Linux. Once you click on python.org, you can get access to its website. What is important in Python are the libraries in Python. In simple words, Python library is a collection of pre-written code that provides ready-to-use functions and tools to perform common tasks. It's like a set of tools, or building blocks that programmers can use to save time and effort when developing softwares. Some of the important libraries that we're going to see in this class are Pandas, NumPy, Matplotlib, and Seaborn. The rest of them are for machine learning, like TensorFlow, and cross-for deep learning.